In this video, we will practice with results to task assignments. So far, we have managed to import our model from Revit, revise it inside Synchro, and compile VBS codes inside Excel, and task VBS with calculating parameter. Now let's bring in resource VBS values to Synchro. First of all, make sure you cleared all filters from the columns here. Choose Clear All Filters. Then let's insert VBS column. Go to the Customize column and write VBS. Let's pull it after Element ID. Now we should sort our Element ID from least to the largest value. Simply click over it. Now let's go back to the Excel and copy the column that we created for our VBS. Select the column, Ctrl C, choose the first cell, and paste as text. Indeed, this could have been done with calculated parameter with a multiple ifs, but it's simpler with Excel. Now let's talk about assignment procedure. You remember from Synchro Basics that we are assigning resources to tasks, not 3D objects. In order to create a resource, 3D objects should be processed through resource wizard. A resource wizard is allocated in assign resources, resource wizard. Let's go back to resources. As a first alternative, we can filter our VBS column by level and assembly code. Make a right click or the VBS title and choose custom filter. Let's suppose we are eager to see only exterior windows on the second floor. For that, type level 2 and choose operation as contains and add another one contains and our assembly code, which is B2020. Click on OK and see that all the resources that are on the second floor with the code B2020 have been filtered. Now we can select only visible resources in the table, click Ctrl A and choose select only visible ones. Press OK. Let's find the task in our task list. This is it. So we can assign a bunch of these resources to our task by simply selecting them and dragging them over this task and dropping them over. In the assigned 3D resource column, you see that 49 resources have been assigned to the task. Another cool way is selecting resources from resource property type. Let's clear all filters from resource table. For example, let's select a curtain wall blazing element at the first floor. Click on it. If you don't see resource properties here, go to the Windows, Resource Properties. In the Resource field tab, if you see that some of the values are missing from the table, it means that you've selected more than one element. Click over any empty space and choose Deselect All. And do the same again. Select the glazing element on the first floor. Now you see that all the parameters are associated with this particular resource. We are interested in VBS value that assigned to it. Make a right click over the value and choose Select Same Value Objects. In the Gantt window, let's use the same filtering for Task VBS2. Click over the Task VBS2 and choose Custom Filter. And we're looking for level 1 B2020. So select it contains level 1. And one more, 2020. And we just found out that a redundant activity presents in the list. Let's clear all filters and select all the tasks. Make a right click and copy them as text. Now let's paste them in Excel and do a simple control. We'll highlight only duplicate values. So here there we have three activities that are duplicated. I corrected this mistake in Microsoft Project. So just go ahead to the external tab and synchronize our schedule from. Right click, synchronize from, and choose the file from this lectures folder to synchron. Go next and synchronize. You can see here that three tasks were deleted. Finish. Copy tasks again, paste it here, and do the same 
check. So now our schedule is clean. We were at the place when we were creating filter for task VBS2. So let's go ahead and repeat it. And now we can select the task and choose assign selected resources from here. Or we can click over any place in the 3D view and choose assign to select tasks. Click over it and you see that 133 resources have been assigned. 